welcome to the news bulletin. My name is Shalama Lawson. Goblins have recently been reported to have sexually abused nurses at Natisa Clinic in Kezi, Bulawayo. Chris Tavura reports. Natisa Clinic in Kezi, about 65 kilometers from Zimbabwe's second largest city, Bulawayo, has been deserted for the past three weeks amid reports that goblins, commonly known as tokoloshes, are going to bed with female nurses at night without their knowledge. When ATV visited Natisa recently, the clinic was still deserted two weeks after a cleansing ceremony was conducted in mid-March. Women in the area say they wake up tired and wait on their private paths when goblins sleep with them without their knowledge. They often feel like someone is having sex with them even when their husbands are away. Chief Malaki Masuk of Matovo district, who presided over the ceremony, said it was authorized by government at his behest to exorcise the clinic. The clinic employs six nurses and services over 40,000 people in the area. The chief said one of the headmen, Pilisani Shumbeshavi, was found guilty of possessing the goblins that had wreaked havoc at the clinic and was fined. Some of the residents interviewed by ATV expressed mixed feelings about the issue. Ah, bantum tunga ene zenzeli nyama zana ke gas la lele la oyem ni gas. Mwako ne tatu mu yumte mu kau kusha nom kusha ne pula lo. Ala tuwa si zuzu kuslu si vuti ba kambi uche wenye lamu. Aye mina ni vume ni ya lumba. Wazis katiba ntuwa nzama salamu. Wazis katiba gube li kumish. So kona po kunsi vuti ni ati ni lamu. Meanwhile, some business people have since closed their shops for fear of the goblins. Goblins are reportedly being brought from neighboring South Africa for money making purposes or to afflict harm on others. In Zimbabwe, witchcraft is a criminal offense punishable by fine or a five year jail term. Those accusing an individual must show a proof of their allegations. Reporting for ATV. I am Chris Pentabra, Kezi, Matebele South, Zimbabwe. Villages in Matebele land have been affected by drought, forcing many to survive on roots and edible leaves. Villagers are now calling on the government to declare their region drought affected. ATV picks up on the story. Starvation has hit most villagers in the Matebele land region after the province experienced severe drought in the current cropping season. ATV recently visited Nyamanjovu and spoke to some villagers who are now surviving on potato-like vegetables known as amajoto and rose. The situation is desperate. Crops have wilted, water wells, pastures, food banks have dried up. A villager, Danisa Ndewele, said, <laughs> Off the camera, they said the government must move with speed to assist them with food before people die. Matebele North Governor Stokosle Matutu was quoted saying it was not possible to say exactly how much food aid was needed in the province as an assessment of the damage on fields has not been carried out. Government allocated $3 million in the 2012 budget towards drought mitigation, but Treasury has not yet released the funds. The United Nations World Food Program has since lodged an appeal to feed over a million Zimbabweans. The situation in Matabele remains dire and government must put practical steps to offer food assistance on time before people die from hunger. Reporting for ATV, I am Chris Pentavra, Snyoka Village, Yamandov. That was a report from Chris Pentavora. 
Thank you for joining us. Good night.